This is where I will be starting my greenhouse. As you can see, the area is a disaster. But after some cleanup, it'll be good. I started out by just putting in some stakes along here and down the side just to see how the grade is going to go. Well, let me get started and it'll just be one step at a time. All right, well, after weeks of work and my back killing me, the pad is finally leveled out. What we did was I took a laser level, which is self-leveling by Bosch. And everywhere where you see a flag, I set the level. Using my, uh, I don't know what you call it. It's my indicator. My target post, I guess you'd say, which moved around. And then I took the 2x4x10 to connect the dots. So right now I'm going to cover this up with plastic and I think it's going to stay there until the build is done. Last thing I need is a mud hole in the middle of my greenhouse. Well, thank you. Alright, we got the wood delivered. My poly sheets are out front. And uh, I'm over here, I started cutting for frames. I'll show you that in a second. All right, we started cutting out for one of the corners. Well, let's just say a quarter of the base. I got, I'm gonna start building up uh, one of the sides and one of the front and We'll check back here to show you my progress. Alright, the entire base of my greenhouse is going to be made out of little sections screwed together. Now, there's going to be four basic sections. These are for the shelving. It goes all the way around. Okay. These are for the side walls. And these are the end walls. It's actually going to be part of my doorway there too. Okay. Now, what we're going to do on these is I'm going to uh, post the dimensions of these sections for each. We'll call them A. B, C, and D. Okay? All right. Thanks. Well, we got the plastic down and I got some frames out here here's part of the front wall with the supports behind it and there's one of the side walls and I'll show you how to put these together it just feels good to be getting to this point All right, next we screwed on the two fascia boards. This one is 
what our shelf will be resting on. Now down here, I put another piece in. This is just for anchoring the side to it. That's 19 inches. All right, we put the side section together. Same way as we did the front. And then we anchored it. Behind here, we got some screws going top and bottom, going across. It should be solid. Well, that's one corner down and three more to go. All right, we got the main base put in. Checked it, everything is square. It is exactly 28 feet, three and a half inches from corner to corner, both ways. It is within a quarter inch all the way around level. And I can live with that too. And now what I got to do is put the barrels in. You see one down there. And then I can put my last uprights in on the outside to support the bows. All right, I got my barrels in place. And I don't have the support screwed in place yet, but I'm gonna do that when I put the final uprights in place on the outside. Now, as you can see, they're pretty tight in here. I didn't waste much space. But, now that they're in place, I can put my final uprights in. And that will be where the bows come in. As you see, I got, I couldn't get all the same color barrels. So I got the white ones that corn syrup came in. And the blue ones that glycerin came in. <laughs> They're all food grade, which I'm very happy about. Well, let me screw these in place so I can start on the bows. Hope you're enjoying this. This is my first bow made. Seems very sturdy. Now what I used was 16 foot 1x4s and split them down the middle. 6 inch blocks with 6 inch spacing going all the way up. Now I adjusted a little up towards the top because I'm going to have an 8 inch sheet covering from one side to the other. But, for the most part, six inches in between, so a foot, two foot spacing is easily done. And then on my template, I marked where they went. At the bottom, since this is a 20 foot bow, right here's where it's going to be sitting on the 2x4s. These are the top two 2x4 two plates that it's going to be sitting on. This is going to be the overhang in front. This is the overhang in the back. Okay. So what I'm going to do is, on my framework, I'll have a complete 2x4 going from the header plate down to the base plate. That should give it more than enough strength and stability. Well, I will post this with a diagram so if anybody wants to duplicate it now this is up to you <coughs> 
excuse me. But I did not glue these. Because of our humidity here, I was worried about blocks might needing replacing. So, I did not glue any because if I have to replace them, I can pull the screws and replace the block. Plus, we have these little nuisance bees called carpenter bees, and if any get into my uh, greenhouse, they are destructive little bastards. Will bore holes through wood. So that's why it's very important that you seal the wood to keep such things as carpenter bees and out of your wood. Here is an update of my bow greenhouse, wooden bow greenhouse. I saw that my video that I made halfway through the roof had failed for some reason. Sorry about that. But let me give you a better look at this. All right, here's the front with lattice work, basically. I think it'll give it a little more aesthetic appeal. And here's coming into it, looking up at the roof. I love it. I put in these cross members just because it's 20 feet across. We don't have a snow load. But we do get wind loads. So I will be happy I put those in. Now what I do need to do is in between these I'm going to put blocks. Okay, make them kind of a ladder bar going across as well, girder. Now my 2x4s are attached. Where there's two going together they're actually toe nailed in up top to give them a better bite okay that way you're joining this to this and then from there to here so you're making a stronger joint right here then before I put my sheets on I'm gonna take the uh, three-quarter trim and I'm going to glue it and use finishing nails just to stake it on there, let it dry. That way it'll be nice and flush going across for my sheets. All right, this is where I'm at right now. I've got the main frame all put together i've got all the painting done all the little wood pieces put in to level out the frames in between so that the sheeting can go on let me give you a closer a closer look and we'll go from there all right this is your view coming in got the barrels going around the bottom I'll explain those on my framework now there will be some additional supports put up top just as a security 
I'm still not 100% sold that two feet is enough support for those sheets with the heat. I just don't want them warping. Now the barrels, some of them will just be used as thermal mass and weight. The reason for doing it this way is because building code says that if I dig into the ground and anchor it, I need a building permit. If it's just sitting on top of the ground, I don't need the building permit. <laughs> but it's not going anywhere. There will be approximately 9,000 pounds of water. And it shouldn't go anywhere. Plus the weight of the frame and all. But some of these will be used for aquaponics and hydroponics. And something I look forward to. I've only done the aquaponics once on a small scale. I've done the hydroponics more intensively. But uh, before I fill these up, I got gaps at the bottom. I'm going to go around and fill it with a subsoil mix, which is uh, sandy clay mixed with cement so that once it hardens, it's not going anywhere. I want the whole frame supported, but that'll be in the next video.